<laughs> Hello everybody. This is not going to be a vlog. This is going to be about the new KDC 200 Bluetooth scanner that I purchased recently. I'm going to talk about how to pair the scanner with your Android phone and therefore be able to use it with whichever sourcing app you use, whether it's FBA Scan or Profit Bandit or whatever it may be. I personally am using it with FBA Scan, so I am not familiar with using it with others, but it is working well with FBA Scan, so I'll use that as an example. So I'm gonna launch right into it. And this is, again, for people that sell FBA and want to use this Bluetooth scanner with their cell phone and their sourcing app. So let's dig into it. Ready, set, go. So here is the KDC 200. It's pretty small and it only has really, it has three buttons. So there's a scan button here in front which also serves as the selection button. So that's the button you just wanna select a menu item. Press that. And then on the side, we have two arrow buttons, an up arrow and a down arrow, and that is to move through the menus. So up and down, bottom and top. So in order to bring the menu up, you have to push them simultaneously like this. And then the menu will pop up on the screen. So now what we're gonna do is scroll down the bottom arrow. So we're gonna go down like that to BT config. There it is. And we're gonna se select it by pushing the scan button. Then we're gonna select connect device, which is the first one. And then we're gonna select HID normal, which I've already done. And there's gonna be a little asterisk next to it once you select it. And then we're gonna hit save and exit. And then we're gonna push the top arrow button here, which is go to the top menu. And then we're gonna go down the down arrow button to BT service, hit select. And then we are gonna go down to pairing and hit select. So it will say pairing started and you'll see the two lights there at the top of the screen flash. And now you just need to pull out your phone and find the, the connection on your Android phone and select it and it will pair. So let me show you how to find that on your Android phone. Ready, set, go. So now you pull down your top, uh, your top menu there on your Android phone, you know what I'm talking about. And here on the, on the right, I'm assuming it's, it's, it's right here on the right for everybody, I don't know, but if not, there's this, there's this button here you push at the top and they all, the options come down. Um, so here, Bluetooth, mine's already selected, so I'm gonna deselect it, and I'm gonna select it again. What's gonna happen is, this little box, this little menu is gonna pop up, and it's gonna show the KDC right there. So I select it, it says connecting, and it says connected as input device, and it's that simple, and now it's ready to go. On your KDC, it, I missed it, but it'll say that it's connected and paired and whatnot. Uh, so you'll see that over there. So here I have opened up FBA scan, and it's empty as you can see. So I'll put that over here, and then I will bring a book in, and I will scan by touching this button. I just have to touch it once. Scanned. See the, the number will pop up on there, and it immediately populates FBA scan. Right there. Letter to my daughter, and shows all the information. This is not a book I'm selling, but regardless. So that's how easy it is. Just set up the HID mode in the KDC and then find it on your Android with the Bluetooth, select it, make sure it's connected, and then pull out FBA Scan or whichever sourcing app you use. I have not uh, used it or, or tried to use it with other ones, but this is the one that I, I, I mostly use, FBA Scan, if the Amazon uh, seller app is not working properly. So there you go. That's how you pair a KDC 200 to an Android. Hopefully that made some sense and helped you out in order to pair your KDC 200 with your Android. If you are brand new to the channel, and this is the only video you've seen from me, then this is not my typical video. I usually make daily vlogs, but I wanted to throw this informative one in there because I felt it was something that was important 
and there's not too many videos on YouTube about pairing. Hopefully it helped and will help you out to get that going. It's pretty straightforward once you have it set up, the HID mode, then you can always just find it on your phone and you should be able to pair it pretty quickly. What I found is sometimes the my Android will drop the connection for whatever reason, I'm not sure. If I turn the phone off, not off, but if I, I'm not using it, uh, it's happened, or sometimes it doesn't, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that, but if you just go back onto the Bluetooth and select it and find the, the KDC, then you should be able to pair it pretty quickly. I don't think you have to go back in and select pairing again in order to do that. Uh, I've done that before without selecting pairing and I just found it and they paired again and I could start scanning again. So if you have any questions, let me know below. I'll, I'll try to help out. I'll probably make a few more videos about the KDC as I get more comfortable with it. One of them is gonna be about turning off the beep sound because when I first got it, every time I would scan, it would make a beep and I had to figure out how to turn that off because to me that's a bit bothersome and annoying, especially when I'm out in public. As always, remember, Keep booking.